Hello friends, welcome back to Not Enough Toys. Today we are looking at the new Polly Pocket Koala Adventures purse. Oh, just look at Polly with the koala bears. This is the latest in the sling bag collection. Let's look at the box, the front of it. Some details at the side. And this is the back of the box. So colorful. And here are the other sling bags. I'm so excited. Let's open this up. The two in one purse playset actually split it into two pieces. So the top part is actually the back of the bag. And the strap is attached to this side. The bottom part of the playset is actually the front of the bag. There's two koala bears. So cute. In the box, there's this stick where you can combine the two pieces together. So you put this part here. The stick actually goes all the way in. The box is able to stay at a 90 degrees but it's a bit wobbly. So when you are going to play, you have to bend it forward a little. Which doesn't affect play. There is a scotch tape over here so remember to remove it. This is how the bag looks like closed up. Now I hope you can see this on camera. There's actually um, silver speckles of glitter all around the pink koala. The lock is at the top. Just a slight twist and you can open up the compact. And it's very sturdy. The strap is at the top of the bag. And for the claps, it's the popping kind. It makes a pop sound when you open or close. Love that sound. This is how the back of the bag look like. Poly Pocket logo. It says 2020. There's also two holes for like back straps. So I think you can actually change it into a backpack if you like. Let's go through the accessories first. This is the chip. It sits two doors. And the wheels really move. This is the chair that comes with it. Looks like a director chair. There are five animals, not including the ones in the compact. I'm not too sure what this is. So comment down below if you know what animal is this. We have a kangaroo. And I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, but this is like a quaka, the smiley little guy in Australia. And there's also the koala duo, the mama and the baby. Super cute. Here are the two dolls in this set. There's a friend and Polly herself. I love the shirt. She's wearing like koala one. And this is a kangaroo shirt. It's the back to see their hairstyle. And if you haven't noticed by now, guys, the Polly dolls are newly improved. You see, um, from the past two years, the Polly Pocket they have been coming out with have jelly legs that couldn't bend properly. But now they have changed it to having separated individual legs. You can fold both legs. Or you can even choose to bend just one leg. The little arms have articulation as well, moving up and down. The waist is actually able to twist 360 degrees. Now we can do so much more with our poly dolls. And they stand so well on their own. This is awesome! A closer look with the interior of the compact. This is the top half. So at the very top, we have 3D and printed clouds and I really love how they hollow out for the birds to show more contrast. On this side, they have a very famous um, building in Australia. I'm not too sure what is it but I think it's a performing center. There's a part representing the ocean. It's also a printed dolphin as well as a 3D dolphin that we'll get to later with the action. 
I adore this tree over here. I really like how it stands out and all the colors. And there's little critters all over the tree. There's also a porcupine over here. So we have three interactive parts for the top. One is the hot air balloon. The locking mechanism is only at the very top where it clicks into place. So it won't be able to stay in the middle. Then we have this. Hide the butterflies. There's a hiding place where you can hide your little treasures or your little animals that they provided. So if you spin this pink dolphin splashing into the water, the picture changes. One is during the day with butterflies and seagulls. And the other is a night full of fireworks. There's even heart-shaped fireworks and I adore this. This is so cute. Now to the bottom of the compact. If you see closely, you can see a platypus. I think this is a little bear. A lizard. And a crocodile. With fishes. For the interactive part, there is actually a barbecue pit that spins around that shows food. And then if you spin it again, it's an empty grill. This piece is removable, so you can play with your other sets as well. And this is like a camper van, where the doors can stay. The bottom half is two bench with a dining area. And the top part has a bed. The bed is actually very spacious and we can actually put two doors and there's still lots of space. The orange bed and the spinning platform is connected the crocodile is able to swim and move in the river the crocodile is attached to the pack the bear and the crocodile will not be removable for sizing wise the dolls fit very well the dolls and all the animals can fit in this height out very well even the kangaroo the dining area chairs are actually very spacious as well. You can sit up to four. And because there are no longer limiters on the chair seats, any doors with um, small scale will be able to fit in. For the flower platform, the packs are actually big. Out of the five animals, the kangaroo and the quokka will have the big pack bottom. I realized that even the koala mama will be able to fit on. But because the platform is flat, you can actually just make Polly sit down as well. And they will be able to spin. I was thinking it would be very cute if uh, Polly can ride a crocodile. And she can with her new legs. For the little chair, you can slide the door in from here and they sit really firmly and yep, yeah, vintage poly fits as well. For the jeep, they fit in just nice, snugly together. You may have to lift up the arms a little bit. The chair may be a bit small for vintage poly. Unless the skirt is the smaller type. And the last interactive part is something that I wouldn't have noticed if I didn't read the instruction manual. Is that Kuala Mama actually can hang off the tree branches. The instruction manual show this branch but all tree branches work. You can clip it onto any tree branch. For baby koala to hold on to mama koala, there's actually a hole right here. You can clip it on to the tail. And ta-da! 
Now we can hang both of them on any tree branch that you want. Don't they look so adorable? For the last part of the video, we wanted to see since we got the new improved poly if they can fit in the older sets that came out in the past two years. And yes, they do! Most of the hard to squeeze in chairs are now accessible to our new Polly. Woo! Just so excited about these new dolls! Alright, so all in all, we love this set. Just like we love the others as well, it's just getting better and better. There's so many bits and pieces to play with and there's so many places for you to hang out. So what do you guys think about this set? Do you have a favourite part in this set? Comment down below and let us know. Check us out again if you want to see more toys and Polly Pocket Compacts. See you next time. Bye.